Hello Scorpio and welcome to your 2022 yearly tarot reading. Thank you for your patience, your support always. Let's dive right in. So I'm going to pick one card. I want to see the general energy. What is the card we can reflect on this year? The support we're going to have throughout this year. Fabulous energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles as general energy for you this year. This is going to be a year where you finally get to enjoy the things that you worked so hard for. So everybody uh, this year in the readings I did anyway, it was a lot about how we were learning to move slow. How slow and steady wins the race. It's not comfortable for people in general to be in, you know, in a slower expansion. Especially, especially you, Scorpio. You are always transforming, evolving, learning, ready to start a new project, to learn something new, teach something to other people. And with the Nine of Pentacles, it fits beautifully with this year's energy. It doesn't mean that nothing is happening. It's the opposite. A lot of things are going to be happening, but a little bit more naturally. A slow movement to me is like an opportunity to find our center, to, you know, have the universe cutting us a little bit of slack this year. But it doesn't mean that nothing's happening. With the Nine of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy, you're going to be still really practical about things. You could be putting money aside to have a bigger project coming to life next year there's a feeling of contentment of i did that i worked so hard for what i have and you know i'm gonna enjoy this and i really like this so this year could be the year before the your big big break um your big breakthrough i like that tell me more about what is happening to Scorpio in 2022. Okay, listen, we have the Hierophant in the Tower as first energy. Amazing. If you know me a little bit, you know that I love the Tower card. It brings intense change. It brings sometimes pain and uh, stress, anxiety, but it is one of your power cards, Scorpio. Confirming that you will Again, transform, grow, go through big transformation. And with the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy, there could be some type of breakthrough with a Taurus or there could be this feeling of starting the year by having a really intense conversation. Because remember that Hierophant is ruled by the throat chakra, communicating how we feel. How are we influencing other people with what we have to say? So that tells me that there is something, some talent, whatever it is that you have within you that needs to come out. And by doing so, by using your voice in a specific situation, things are going to be changing. It will create a huge impact. A lot of people fear the tower. But honestly, this is the energy that when I look back at it, I see the most change. I see the most liberation. Um, we need to remember that tarot is never a warning. It's never here to make us feel anxious about something. It is reflecting on energy. So I do feel also that this could be 2021 for you because the Hierophant was the card of 2021 and the tower could signify that last year everything kind of fell apart at one point it could be with a Taurus it could also be how you were feeling grounded maybe you moved maybe you were forced to move uh, there could be something about your stability that completely changed last year. And I feel like this was all for you to create this good foundation for the, you know, the years ahead. So I like that. 
Yeah, Queen of Wands, <laughs> fabulous. So this is you working on your own magic. How are you making sure that you choose yourself before anything each and every day? It feels like you don't really have the choice to do that. Um, with the Queen of Wands, it's like, what is important for you? What makes you feel good? Who are you if you're not this person's partner, this person's son, daughter, whatever it is for you? I do feel like you're finding your place in the world. It's starting to feel a little bit more comfortable to be you and to be where you are right now. So I do feel like there was this period of you trying to accept what happened to you. It felt like it was something happening to you. And now you're slowly realizing that was happening for me. The Ten of Pentacles. That was my guides, my ancestors, uh, the people protecting me, you know, whatever you believe in, that send me this way. And with the Ten of Pentacles, there's this beautiful feeling of I'm comfortable. I, I feel like I am really building something. Even if it's a 10, I don't feel like it's an ending at all. I do feel like it's the beginning for you. I'm sure we're going to have an ace pop out in this reading. But it feels like the universe tested you last year in many, many, many ways. <laughs> um, I feel there, there's such a liberating energy. Someone who can finally breathe. Someone who's like... What's going to happen next? Because I feel like everything is literally going great right now. But why do I... F I do feel like your intuition could be telling you something. Um, it feels definitely intense. And it feels like... Although when you're noticing everything you build and you have, there's this feeling of what's next. This is what I'm feeling. That's why I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now with this energy. Three of Wands. What's next? What's the next step? How can I do more? How can I show up in better ways for myself, for my business, for the, my chosen family? With the Three of Wands, there's this feeling of you will learn as you go. Things will happen naturally for you. And there's this beautiful feeling of balance because in the Two of Wands, the wands aren't balanced. There's one on the ground, one that is a little bit um, higher. Here we have balance. You're exactly where you should be. But I don't think it's comfortable for you to just enjoy that, Scorpio. You want more. You definitely want more. And that's why we went from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles really fast here. So you're probably thinking of how can I make more money? How can I build either a business or get a higher position at work? I want people to know me. I want to be recognized. And even if I'm getting really comfortable with what I built, I want more. And that's totally fine. See, we have the two of wands here. Exactly what I was saying, you know. Um, two of wands... Again, with the three and two of wands, I have this feeling of someone who is a little bit conflicted. Like, I want to enjoy what I have. It feels good. It's nice. But what's next? So you could be going back and forth with that energy. Maybe the people around you, your partner, your friends, chosen family are like, calm down. I do feel like this energy of we're good. You know, you have everything you need. Calm down. What are you trying to prove? You could be, you know, dealing with kind of an inner battle also. With the Two of Wands, I can't deny also that I sometimes connect this energy to a twin flame energy. You could be going back and forth, thinking about someone from the past. Um, I do feel like your brain wants to go there, but you could be, in, you know, in a battle between your brain, your heart, um... There could be someone from the past coming back, definitely. You contemplating and fantasizing, maybe thinking about what could have happened if I didn't choose this route. So, listen, 
this is fabulous energy. But again, there is kind of this inner battle going on within you. Um, and Scorpio, I don't blame you. Knight of Cups. So with the Knight of Cups, we're really particular on how we move in the world. How can I work with my heart? How can I do things from a place of love? So bring love into the situation, definitely. Also, I connect the knights with the body. So how can you bring more love to your body? And it's never about extremes. It's never about wanting to look a certain way. Not for me, anyway, when I read energy. It's about listening to your body. How do I feel today? Am I exhausted? Do I need to be uh, more hydrated? Do I need to listen to what my body is telling me? Am I exhausted? Do I need more energy? There's this feeling with the Knight of Cups of listening. Definitely being aware of how you feel. And it could be in a situation concerning this Twin Flame also. I do feel when I see the two of wands looking back, someone could come back into your life because they know you're doing good. And I don't think you look back. I don't think you want to give this person a chance. Um, but you're definitely conscious. You're definitely aware and careful how you connect with this past energy and also really careful how you judge yourself treat yourself in that situation there could be some desires coming up there could be some intense emotion and i feel like instead of being uh putting yourself down and being hard on yourself i do feel like you're yeah you're definitely aware we have double sixes here six of swords and six of cups so I feel like you don't want to look back. This is a confirmation. So it might feel it might feel difficult for you to have to say goodbye to someone from the past and literally closing the door on this relationship. I think it will bring you a lot of healing. I think that your healing journey concerning this particular situation, either the twin flame, a past person, an ex, a family member, you know, you know, I don't know exactly who this is, but you're leaving some type of situation behind and you're bringing a lot of love to yourself in that situation. I do feel like with the Six of Cups and the Six of Swords, there's this feeling of, I know I deserve more. I don't want to sabotage what I built. I don't want to sabotage what I have. I actually feel happy and content with what I've created for myself. There's this beautiful energy of finding self-love in a deeper, meaningful way. And I know it sounds woo-woo for a lot of people, but it, it actually it's coming up pretty strongly for me. I think that you're changing the way that you speak of yourself the way you speak of other people, there's a lot of awareness here when it comes to how you treat your mind, your body, your soul. And you're forgiving yourself for something that happened in the past. Forgiving someone else also. I think you're letting go of a grudge. That's what it feels like. It might not connect with you in any way. But remember, this is a yearly reading. A lot of shit comes up for me. Um, you can listen today and come back in a couple months, six months, um, and see how it connects with you. You know, realizing things. We have the page of pentacles, so double earth energy. Um, you're still building something. I do feel like you could be expanding your business. You could want to teach to someone else also. Because, yeah, the page of pentacles is the student. But I feel like there's always a great teacher in every student and vice versa. So you could be wanting to learn more, wanting to take a class, expand your knowledge on something. But at the end of the day, I think that you can also bring a lot to the table when it comes to teaching other people. There's something, a craft, a talent uh, that you have. You have knowledge on, on something. And I feel like people 
could definitely uh, either pay money <laughs> eventually to have you teach that. But there's a beautiful exchange between a teacher and a student. And I really like that. The Hierophant and the Page of Pentacles um, here together, it feels so right. I do feel like this year to keep your mind busy and stay out of stress, you're going to be working on your business, working on something and making money. Definitely. I don't associate the pentacles with money. Usually I feel like a pentagram is so sacred that I just can't believe that people would just associate a pentagram to money. But I do have this feeling of um, expansion, wanting to put money aside, being more aware of how you spend your money, what comes in and what comes out. And this is going to be definitely a positive thing for you. So you could be reaching some type of goal when it comes to uh, putting money aside at the end of the year, being like, oh, shit, I paid a part of my debt. I paid this debt or I put this money aside to do something nice with it and treat myself or buy something that I've been wanting to buy or maybe uh, putting, you know, a down payment on a house, whatever it is. Um, it's not about having a lot. It's about making the effort to just put a little bit aside and then building and building. Because this is not about uh, having all the money in the world. And, you know, it's, it's not a... I feel like this message connects with everyone and not just uh, whatever, wherever you are in your finances. So with the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands, this is definitely, to me, kind of a boost in your self-confidence. It's going to feel good to have people wanting to learn from you, being inspired by you. There's this feeling of... When I see these two cards, um, creation, definitely creation. How can I create something from my own hands? How can I inspire other people? I do feel like you, you do things from your heart this year. There's definitely something about you're not ruled by the ego. You're ruled by what feels good and how you bring love into this world and how you bring some type of good energy around you. And I like that. I really like that. Um, this is a year where your creativity, your passion for something that you're doing will just, it, it will be on an, another level completely. If you have a side hustle, a side business, I feel like this could be the year where it becomes your number one source of income, where it actually becomes clear for you that, okay, this could really be something that I could be doing for real. Because I do feel like it could be a side thing for you. Yeah, I like that. Getting to another level when it comes to your business. Oh, yeah, king, another king here confirming everything I just said. You're taking control. You're finally seeing the results, seeing that, okay, I have something here. There's, there's definitely options for me. I can maybe um, put more time and effort into this other thing that I've been doing for fun, that I've been, you know, trying to uh, grow. But I feel like this year is the year where people are going to be really interested in what you have to bring. Kings are all about that. King's energy is like, what can I bring out of myself? How can I serve? How am I serving in this world? You know, what is my place in the world? What is the legacy I want to leave behind? Um, it feels really powerful. This is a powerful year. A lot of abundance, a lot of work. And again, we're learning to move slowly, but it doesn't mean that nothing's happening. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, we're moving slowly. That doesn't mean nothing is happening. Slow and steady wins the race. And I'm, I really want to, you know, repeat myself here because it's definitely an important message. So again, noticing the signs, how your body 
is telling you sometimes to take breaks. How are we learning this year that taking day off, sometimes a week off if it's possible, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna make or break things. The things that are meant for you are not gonna pass you by and you're not gonna miss out on you know, really important deals if you learn how to take a moment off, how you learn to connect with nature and not always be on your phone and not always look at your emails and feeling like you have to answer everyone right away. There's definitely this need to pause and to, again, remember that nothing is going to pass you by. You're in a good place, Scorpio. And I don't know if you see it right now because you've been through a lot last year. But you're in a really good place. Definitely. And it's all because you kept your head up. Another king is here. This is definitely the year where people are going to talk about you, know you, if you've been wanting to, you know, create a big following online or expanding your business or just having people know you for what you're talented in. This is definitely the year. Three kings already. Three kings. I'm going to change deck, but there's definitely this energy of this is what I was born to do. This is what I've been wanting people to see from me. Let's take the Hermetic deck. I'm really excited. Tell me more about Scorpio. King energy is not something we should uh, overlook. Yeah, This is the year where you make it on another level. And if you already feel like you made it last year, this is going to be another huge shift for you the fool and the chariot expansion um moving forward taking a leap so it might be uncomfortable at times definitely i feel like your intuition is is going to send you some really clear and intense sign when it comes to making decision on how you should move trust it trust that the universe is working in your favor, even on days where you feel like nothing is happening, even on days where you feel like you're stuck, like you're out of ideas, because this is going to happen sometimes. Um, you're still on the grind. You're still expanding, definitely. When the chariot comes out, I know that there's, again, this calling to get vulnerable, do things from the heart, being really aware also of what you put in the world, you know? Is it in alignment with you and your values? I think that Scorpio, you're you're always really you're always really on point when it comes to that. I think you have a lot of awareness and you want people to feel good. You want to be a good person. You want to have good people around you. With the fool also, this confirms that I feel right now could be the in-between period before this big breakthrough. We have the four of swords here. So it could be a time of healing, resting before you get to this big new change in your business, in your work life, in your stability. I think that there's going to be a lot of time out a lot of resting your body, your mind, your soul, but definitely the body, I feel, needs a lot of care. Um, maybe you've been noticing some type of signs from your body, like little things, and you're like, no, nah, I'm just going to push through. I don't, I don't want to really look at that. It makes me feel uncomfortable or it scares me. Um, I think you're going to have to face a lot of things this year, and it's bringing a lot of positive, definitely, you're healing not only your soul from a past heartbreak. I do feel like there was something a little traumatizing that happened to you. It could be losing a long-term friend, um, realizing that someone in your family just isn't good for you. There's something really personal that happened to you. And I feel like this year is going to be a year where you heal that. And a healing journey is never done. We're never done healing something. But I feel like it's going to become really clear that this happened for you. 
I like that. We're not in an anxious place this year. That's what I'm feeling. There's definitely a lot of trust when it comes to you, the universe, what's good for you. You know, I do feel like this is the type of energy of someone who's like, what's good for me will find me. And that's absolutely true. Nine of swords in the reverse. You don't want to be in your head constantly about what, what could I have done? I should have done this. I should reach reach out to this person i should try to make things better i feel like you're getting out of your head a little bit and you're getting much more comfortable with your body and where you are in the world and that's why there's the nine of pentacles here as general energy that's why you have the page of pentacles the hierophant here ten of pentacles you know it's like your opposite energy is earth energy you know you're you're learning how to not only slow down, but how to get comfortable doing it and not be in your head all the time about things. It feels good. It feels like you're finding balance, definitely. And I like that. I feel like you also have a lot of good people around you. You could have a fire sign, another water sign, someone that you really trust. Um... It could be your partner, a lover, a best friend. But there's there's good people around you. Definitely. Someone who wants the best for you and someone who will definitely hold your hand through this. Yeah, you could be having a partner that is another water sign or has a lot of water in their chart. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, it's like you found your happiness with someone. And maybe right now it makes no sense what I'm telling you, okay? Totally fine. Um, remember, this is something you can come back to. But you're going to be feeling like you found your person. You found the person that you want to build with. And I feel like this person wants to hold your hand throughout the ups and downs. They want to see you succeed. They want to see you thrive in your business. And it feels good. There's no doubt when it comes to this person. You know how to communicate. You know how to listen to each other. Um, and it feels good. It's someone who's definitely as intense as you are energetically. Um, but they keep you grounded. Yeah. I think that they give you a lot of hope for the future. They give you some type of purpose. They give you some type of reason to... Um, stay grounded and build and work hard. There's someone who's really, really proud of you. We have the Princess of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So again, double earth energy plus the Wheel of Pentacles. Listen, um, you could really found yourself loving uh, something new, a new project, a new... Um, hobby whatever it is there's going to be this feeling of oh the timing was right eh for this uh the timing was right for me to learn something new and i feel like now i can include that in my business i can really make something out of it and i could eventually teach it to other people you could become a boss this year and have people working for you definitely but with the wheel of fortune Things are moving and expanding after a period of stability, after a period of everything being the same. Sorry, not stability, but more uh, stagnant. Something felt in your life like it was the same thing over and over again. I do feel like it's about your stability. Maybe you didn't really like where you were living. Maybe you were feeling like your boss was taking you for granted. There's this feeling of, I'm not happy really but i'm still going with it things are changing there's going to be some type of opportunity someone who wants to either have you as an apprentice or they want you to teach them some type of some type of knowledge that you have this is definitely a year where you're going to be learning something you could get some type of diploma or you could feel like you graduate uh, some type of class or some type of apprenticeship. It feels really good. I think that you should trust it. 
there could be the spirit of you asking yourself, is this a good idea for me? And I think that if you take the leap and you say yes, it could bring you a lot of beautiful things. Yeah, magician, say yes. There's a brand new beginning happening for you. And I feel like it could be at the very end of 2022. This feeling of, wow, okay, I can't believe that I created this for myself. I can't believe that this is where I'm going. This is this new direction. You could relocate. You could have a second business. There's something really magical happening at the end of the year for you. And again, it's going to feel like a brand new beginning. There's going to be periods of uncertainty, periods where you ask yourself, do I have enough money? Am I good enough? for this and I feel like you'll soon realize that you have everything you need. Yeah, and I, I really like that. This is a really fabulous reading. A lot happening and a lot happening at the end of the year. You're gonna definitely see your hard work pay off. But again, learn to move slow and it could be really uncomfortable for you to do so. But this year you're learning as you go. You will become a master at something as you go and as you move slow. And I really like that. So Scorpio, the sun at the bottom of the deck to end this reading. This brings such, you know, a huge smile on my face. Good, fabulous reading for you. Um, Learning a lot, as always, learning through mistakes, learning to heartbreaks, learning through um, fucking up and getting up and fucking up again. And this is what I love about Scorpio. You learn all the time. You're like a sponge when it comes to um, everything that life's put your way. Uh, and, and I'm really happy for you. I'm really excited to see that. Take care of yourself. Remember, you can come back to this reading anytime. And I can't wait to speak with you again. Until next time, take exquisite care of yourself. Bye-bye.